What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we are going to be talking about something that I had meant to mention in earlier videos but I just never really saw the hype in it but maybe things will change. Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem known in America now as Tokyo Mirage Sessions um, hashtag FE it looks like an interesting game. I don't know if I'm going to lose my mind over it and that's kind of atypical considering I'm a fucking huge weeaboo but I mean Looking at the game overall, it looks interesting enough for me to give it some attention, and now we have some further controversy on it, that apparently it's going to suffer some localization changes, censorship, however you may want to describe it, but we gotta look into this into more detail, because if you guys remember the whole Fire Emblem Fates thing, I had a big interest in the way that the game was going to be changed between regions. Now, if you don't remember my perspective, I understand that localization changes have to be made sometimes, but if they are at the cost of us losing content in different regions and not getting anything to replace it, then I'm a totally against it. I understand different things for different areas, but don't give me less content than what was originally intended, or if you're gonna change something, at least give us something to replace it. That, that's my perspective, right? So let's take a look at exactly what the hell is going on with this whole Tokyo Mirage thing, because I know nothing about the game in terms of the way it's played, the style that it'll take on. The only Shin Megami Tensei titles that I played were the Devil Survivors um, titles, both of them. Actually, no, there was another one, um, I think Lost World or something, but I didn't play that one. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but I played Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor 1 and 2, great games overall, but yo, Apparently, there are some changes that were determined from the PAX East footage, which I was supposed to go to. I didn't get a chance to, however. Um, well, I mean, I didn't have a fucking ticket in the first place, man. Your boy's a mess. And by the way, I know your boy got a hat on, man. Everyone's going to be shitting on me for that sole purpose in the comments, most likely. But I'm in the, I'm in the middle of doing laundry, okay? I mean, as you guys can see, I got my fucking quarters right here. I'm do I got the change for the washing machine. I got the goddamn soap right here, man. The thing was open? It was open! What the fuck? Oh my god. It was open the whole time? Christine, did you leave it open? Look at my fucking pants! Oh my god! Dude! Jesus, Christine! Come on, bro! You left the soap open! Who does that? Any. Oh my god! Anyways, like I was saying, PAX East apparently had footage of this with the localization in America, and there were some alterations to the outfits, and we've seen this multiple times throughout history with gaming and Nintendo localization, so I mean, it's nothing new. Obviously, I guess some of the outfits were a little bit too risque in certain contexts for Nintendo to deem them appropriate for the U.S. region, so for instance, the main character here, the female, Amer um, the female main character, she had a change in her outfit and apparently there's also going to be some DLC that's removed from the game. From what I've researched so far, the removal of the DLC is one of my biggest concerns. Even though the DLC is not content that I guess is part of the main core game, still, it's something that you can purchase at the end of the day to add on to your experience. And I'm hoping that maybe in the US we get something to replace said DLC. But apparently there's more localization changes that have happened on this whole thing. So I wanted to take a look at this Nintendo Everything article. And by the way, as usual, all this shit will be linked in the description so you can check it out for yourself. More changes to the Western version of Tokyo Mirage Sessions X Fire Emblem. Hashtag Fire Emblem. So Tokyo Mirage was playable at PAX East last weekend, and we have quite a bit of video footage from the Western version thanks to that. The game's trailer was shown in the last Nintendo Direct already showed a change made to a character's outfit in the localized version. We all know this. Nintendo recently commented on the game's localization and gameplay footage from PAX has just confirmed several other changes. So I think one of these is also the fact that the age was also increased. I don't know everything for a fact. I didn't read this article yet, so we're going to take a look at this now. First off, the age was changed. We know that much. Wardrobe changes as well. Uh, one of the characters, they go from wearing panties to spats, I think. So, and then also one of the uh, characters is a gravature model. I don't know exactly how to say it, but basically one of those models that puts on somewhat risque clothing in Japan. It's somewhat of an interesting field, to be honest. And it's not necessarily porn or anything like that, but it's a, it's, it's a whole other thing. But apparently the pictures of one of these guys in the game have been watered down a little bit for the United States. So am I really going to put up a whole big stink on the fact that they modified some of the outfits? Not really. I don't really mind that much. And like I said, the core focus for me is the content. So hopefully Nintendo of America is going to be doing something else for us in that field. Um, I don't know what you guys' consensus is though. Now I know the Fire Emblem 
emblem thing was a little bit different and I got passionate about that mainly because I didn't like the fact that the models that you got in the whole petting room feature and the interaction with the characters was gone and nothing was there in return but that didn't turn out to be the case and we did get the petting room functionality even though it wasn't the full fledged one but at least we didn't lose out on experiencing what those character models look like and it looked really well done so that's where I was like you know this sucks but thankfully that's not going to be the case with Fire Emblem and hopefully it won't be the case with Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem either I'm gonna call it that forever man I just like that name but the whole Tokyo Mirage sessions man I mean how weeb can you get bro I don't know man I don't know if I support that name but I mean whatever that's the name it's gonna be called I'll just deal anyways guys let me know what you think about this whole thing in the comments if you do want me to go more in depth not talk out of my ass like I did in this video, then let me know in the comment section and maybe we can have a little bit of a discussion about this in a stream or something like that. But I just wanted to make this video informing you, trying to get back into the swing of things. So at this point now, I'm just basically going to be touching bases with whatever the hell I feel is somewhat interesting, exciting, and things that I look forward to in the future. So even though I haven't really covered this game before, it looks somewhat interesting. I'm going to cover it. And this is the case with a lot of other things as well. There are a couple of other things that I wanted to talk about with the Nintendo Direct 2, even though that's way late. But at this point now, it's not even a matter of it being on time or not. I just want to express what I feel about certain things. I will let you guys know all these details later on. Stay in touch with your boy, and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.